All right, welcome back into the Making Tech Talk. Here we are live here at, uh, well, I'm live right now, not live as you're watching this, but here we are at uh, BBT Field in Winston Salem, North Carolina, where Georgia Tech just came up with one of the biggest comebacks that you'll probably ever see. 24 to 20, Georgia Tech beats Wake Forest. They came back with, with two big drives that are late in the game. We'll start with the first one. Seven minutes left in the game. Joshua Nesbitt leads the team down the field on a one minute and 50 second drive. It ends with a touchdown strike to Embry Peoples, the A back, a 20 yard touchdown pass. Then they come back a few minutes later after the defense holds and gives up just a field goal. They come on back, march down the field 69 yards, and a touchdown pass, a nine yard touchdown completion to Corey Earls, Macon native Corey Earls, for those of you from Macon who are watching this. So a big afternoon for the, or big evening, excuse me, for the Yellow Jackets in that regard. Coming back from 11 points down, this was the first time since 1998 that they came down, that they came from an 11 point fourth quarter deficit. The last time they did that and won a game, they beat Georgia in November of 1998. So you gotta, you gotta put that in perspective and see how big of a win this was for the Yellow Jackets. Big thing that we saw tonight was the defense. Georgia Tech's defense actually played pretty well. You know, they played a lot better than they have the last few, uh, last couple of games. They were really tight in the middle. Still not quite as good in the middle. There were still some gaps there in the passing game and also in the running game, but a little bit tighter than they have been. Uh, Julian Burnett, another Macon native, had a big evening. He had 10 tackles on the night. Steven Sylvester also had 10 tackles there at linebacker. So you had a lot of energy from those guys playing well. Uh, Brad Jefferson with a, with a pretty decent night as well there in the middle. But it was all about the offense with the comeback. Paul Johnson looking cool as a cucumber. I don't think I've ever seen Paul Johnson look as calm and, and collected as he was. He basically said that these guys played as well as they did late in the game. They've got a lot to fix early on. There were a lot of drop balls. Stephen Hill dropped a couple early on in the game. Tyler Melton dropped one there on that last drive, but he, he actually redeemed himself and caught another pass to help push them down the field to set up the score for Corey Earl. So a lot to work on for the Yellow Jackets, but a lot of good things as well. Scott Blair was one of those other good things as far as the, uh, the, four, the three field goals that he had today. He's now seven of seven on the year, a 47 yarder tonight. And uh, just a lot of good things happen at the end of the game, like we said, for the Yellow Jackets. They'll go back to work on Monday and uh, correct some of those errors, and we'll see what they can do against Virginia next week. Again, I'm leaving here, uh, BB&T Field. We're leaving Winston-Salem, and a W is coming back to Atlanta for the Yellow Jackets. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll have more uh, next time.